Do your games feel laggy, or like your high-end system isn't performing the way it should? Especially if you're using an Intel CPU with an NVIDIA graphics card? Well, you might be leaving performance on the table and not even know it. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix a hidden issue between Intel CPUs and NVIDIA GPU drivers that can significantly improve your FPS in games and boost synthetic benchmark scores. We're going to fix it using a free tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This isn't just a small tweak. It can literally give you thousands of extra points in 3D Mark and noticeably smoother performance in real games. Let's dive in and fix what NVIDIA's driver might be silently breaking. The problem? Resizable BR isn't really enabled, even if it says it is. So here's what's actually going on under the hood. You might have Resizable BAR, also known as Rebar, turned on in your BIOS. You've checked the boxes, your motherboard supports it, your GPU is compatible, and tools like GPU-Z, MSI Center, or your motherboard's utility all say it's enabled. Everything looks good on the surface. But here's the catch. In many cases, especially on Intel platforms, the NVIDIA graphics driver isn't actually using rebar properly, even though it reports that it's active. It's more like a checkbox is ticked, but the feature isn't truly being utilized during real workloads, like gaming. This is a subtle but widespread issue that's been quietly affecting performance for a lot of users. Most people have no idea it's happening because windows and monitoring tools don't show the full picture. You'd never know something's off unless you dig deep into the NVIDIA driver's internal settings, which is exactly what we're going to do next using a tool called NVIDIA Profile Inspector. This free, lightweight utility lets you unlock hidden driver features and directly view the flags that control rebar usage. Not just whether it's technically turned on, but whether it's actually being applied per game. Let's dive in. What you need, a Windows PC with an Intel CPU, especially 12th, 13th, or 14th gen, an NVIDIA GPU, including RTX 3040 or 50 series, rebar enabled in BIOS, NVIDIA Profile Inspector, download it from a reliable source. 1. Download NVIDIA Profile Inspector. First, head to the link I've provided in the description. This will take you to the official download page for NVIDIA Profile Inspector, a powerful utility that exposes advanced driver settings that the regular NVIDIA control panel doesn't show. Look for the latest release usually a zip file, and download it to your PC. Once downloaded, right-click the zip file and extract it to a safe location. Your desktop or a dedicated tools folder works well. Inside the extracted folder, you'll find a single executable file, NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe. No installation is required. Just double-click the .exe to launch the program. It's lightweight, portable, and won't change anything until you manually apply settings so you're safe to explore without breaking anything at this point. Now that you have it open, we'll start digging into the actual rebar flag settings. Once NVIDIA Profile Inspector is open, look at the top left corner of the window. You'll see a drop-down menu labeled Profiles. Click it, and from the list that appears, select Global Driver Profile, Base Profile. This step is crucial because it ensures any changes we make will apply system-wide across all games and applications, not just to individual game profiles. By editing the global profile, we're making sure the driver settings related to resizable BAR are forced across the board, rather than needing to configure each game manually. Once selected, give it a second to load the profile parameters. You'll now have access to a massive list of hidden driver settings. But don't worry, we'll only touch what's necessary. Find Section 5, Common Settings. Now that the global driver profile is open, scroll down until you reach Section 5, Common. This is where the actual resizable bar, rebar, driver settings are stored, and where the issue usually hides in plain sight. You'll want to look for the following specific entries. Rebar feature, hexadecimal zero FEC. This controls whether rebar is actually used by the driver. In many cases, you'll find it set to disabled, even though your BIOS and monitoring tools like GPU-Z or Afterburner say rebar is enabled. That's exactly the mismatch we're here to fix. Rebar options, hexadecimal zero, FED. This is a binary value that governs how the feature behaves internally. It may vary between systems, and sometimes it's set in a way that restricts rebar usage. Rebar size limit, hexadecimal zero, FEE. Another binary value that defines the upper limit for the memory map region. If this isn't set properly, rebar could be partially or fully inactive. 
despite what your BIOS or system tools tell you. Manually enable resizable BAR in the NVIDIA driver. Now that you've located the correct fields in Section 5, it's time to manually enable resizable BAR by changing a few key values. Make the following changes. Rebar feature, FEC, change from disabled to enabled. This setting is the main toggle. If it's set to disabled, rebar won't be used, even if everything else on your system says it should be. Setting it to enabled forces the driver to activate resizable BAR support globally. Rebar options, fed, set this to hexadecimal 01. This value defines how rebar behaves. The value hexadecimal 0000001 is a safe, general purpose setting that enables basic resizable BAR functionality without game specific restrictions. Think of it like a compatibility mode that works broadly. Rebar size limit, recommended value 0x04 or anything ending in 4 like 0x014 depending on your VRAM size. This setting controls the maximum memory block allocated for resizable BAR. Higher numbers equals larger data transfers between your CPU and GPU. Just be sure not to exceed what your GPU supports. Usually find up to hexadecimal 00000014 for modern cards. Ignore the game names you might see. Sometimes, next to these values, you'll see labels like Returnal or Red Dead Redemption 2 inches. These are just reference notes from NVIDIA's own profiles. They don't limit or affect the settings function. You're not enabling rebar only for those games, you're applying it globally across your entire system. By setting these values manually, you're telling the NVIDIA driver to stop waiting for specific games, and instead use resizable BAR across all workloads, potentially improving performance in games, video rendering, and general GPU-intensive tasks. Once you're done, don't forget to click the Apply Changes button in the top right corner before closing the app. Optional, game-specific profiles for fine-tuning. While editing the global driver profile enables resizable BAR system-wide, you can take things a step further by customizing individual game profiles. Here's how. In NVIDIA Profile Inspector, go to the top left drop-down menu and type the name of the game, like Cyberpunk 2077, Call of Duty, or any title you want to tweak. Select the game from the list. This will load its dedicated driver profile. Scroll to Section 5 Common just like before. Apply the same rebar settings. Rebar feature enabled. Rebar options hexadecimal 01. Rebar size limit. Click Apply Changes in the top right when you're done. Why this matters? Resizable BAR allows the CPU to access the GPU's memory in larger chunks instead of 256 megabytes blocks. That means faster data transfers and better efficiency, especially in modern games with large textures and high memory usage. But if your driver doesn't properly enable it, even if your BIOS does, you're missing out on free performance. If your games have felt underwhelming in terms of performance and you're using an Intel CPU with an NVIDIA GPU, this might be the hidden bottleneck you've been facing. This fix only takes a few minutes, and for some people, it's been game-changing. Again, results may vary depending on your setup, so don't expect miracles on every system. And as mentioned earlier, use this at your own risk. If you found this helpful, drop a like and consider subscribing for more PC performance tips and deep dive tweaks like this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.